Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Last time was unleashing the guru on these poor stupid miners. Now it's time to get the final preparations all put together so we can take out the mask of dark earth. Are you a, reg are you a regular dingo? Are you... Yeah, I'm just looking at your, your hat weird. Uh, because we've let the Mask of Dark Earth out of the mines, it is now prowling about on the map. So there is a good chance of just randomly spotting it, wandering around. But I don't think we have any issues while coming over here. And I have the paraglider. Oh, sweet, sweet paraglider. <laughs> All right, let's just go. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh, yeah. Finley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. Why, E S, yeah. We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bet. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> More Murray trying to listen to Tech Talk. He's a doer, not a thinker. Oh gosh, that's that's actually a very scary thought. All the skill sets of the of the Hooper gang just got switched around. That'd be an interesting <laughs> prospect. <laughs> Oh, right, we are the claw, not Murray. This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a way. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. And oh my gosh, does this thing move fast. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. So you do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Uh -huh. oh, right, cuz it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come. Uh, admittedly, it's one of my more favorite tactics. All right, come here, come here, idiot. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is essentially what you're looking at. You're just picking up miners and tossing them. You could drop them off into holes, dr drop like explosives on them. Cause I can do. Ooh. Fine. I just prefer to throw them. Much easier. Alternatively, you can also pick up explosions and drop them. That works. That works very well. <laughs> but you oh, get back here. You don't get overly much out of out of just picking things up and dropping them back down. It is much easier to just throw them. And it is three oil rigs per per area. And there's only six six rigs. And they're not aiming for Murray. They're aiming for these things right here. Which are essentially the control panels? Well, it's the things that link up all the... Oh, oh, wrong button. Wrong button! There we go. Oh, no, give it here! Yes, sir. Taking bit, taking Murray for a ride. Don't drop him in the water. Okay, Sly, it's safe to let Murray go now. There you go. Check out these guns. That pumping has got me pumped. Murray is certainly getting his workout for, for himself today. The workout for the day is pumping oil. Yeah, give him the fence. 
And of course, all this, and he's probably seeing everything in his peripheral. Of course, I'm just electrocuting people with an electric fence. Because it's fun, admittedly. No, come here. No, come here. Ew, this is actually... <laughs> I've always had fun with the claw. Oop, wrong button. Simply just because I get to throw a lot of things into electricity. <laughs> eh, should I blow up somebody? Let's give it a shot. There you go. Have fun. I think I'll drop the last one down a hole. Just simply because I can. And he that one these Murray should be almost done. Oh no, he's got one more to go. It's hard to tell after a bit because they are all just pumping oil like nobody's business. Uh, this also kind of reminds me of Contessa's little dungeon run. Granted, we'll be finding we'll be facing more of those types of challenges before too long. I just gotta drop this guy down a hole. There we go. Let's head to the next oil field. Uh, what are we doing now? Uh, I didn't remember the third part of this. Okay. What am I doing now? Let's get that oil burning. Sly, drop a flint rock on the end of that log plank. Murray. You'll then jump on the edge and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The sparks on impact should start a fire. Oh, joy. Eat rock. We're adding artillery to defending. Because that's a good idea. Ah. Uh, there we go. That miner. <laughs> I picked up the TNT instead of the rock. Ah, come on! <laughs> okay, I accidentally threw him into the oil field. That works. This is surprisingly hard. Or maybe I'm just not really good at multitasking. There we go. Nope. Grab the thing. Grab the thing! Oh, come on! I fucking got that. There we go. Nope. 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 Halfway done. Get back here! <laughs> Get back here, you stupid miner! No! No attacking! And you. Gotcha. Okay, I almost thought I didn't get the rock there for a second. Are we gonna do it? Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it! You gotta hit in. Uh, I picked you up! Get, yeah, come here! Stupid, stupid dingoes! Ugh. Alright. Come here. You brats need a lesson in electricity. Nope, oh, gimme. Last one. No, oh, come here. There we go. There we go. pressure differential should draw the deep uranium enriched glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! Murray, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> oh, you adorable idiot. Alright, with that out of the way, time for phase two. We clear out the lemonade bar. I'm pretty sure... Oops. Oh, for the love of, really? Alright. Time to go raid a bar. And it's because these guys are on a job, you know it's not going to be alcohol. As much fun as I wish it would be. Still don't have silent obliteration yet, though. That's next on the list. Do, 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 do. Let's see, how am I supposed to get over there? With Sly, I get a lot more options. With my paraglider. Oh, I love the paraglider. 
I love the paraglider. Ah, did I? Ooh, almost saw me there. Thank you, TNT. Let's go smash up a bar. All right, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners and we'll do whatever it takes. All right, barber all time. Well, I mean, first we're gonna have a bit of a competition. So, listen up, dirt bags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough, tough, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. There, Dinkum. Losers have to clear out. They don't even have any shinies. I guess that's a good thing, because otherwise I'd be distracted like I'll get out. Ready, steady, go! Drink! Drink like a minute! Stay on that lemonade, you monkey jump back! Bring it down! Steady. Not a lot of talking during this. <laughs> a little hard to spam. Stomach, you jump back! Oh, thank you, Murray, for being such a good drinker. Why is Bentley's more than the other guys? Well, at least I'm halfway down before this fucking idiot. Remember to breathe. Ah. Come on, Bentley, you're almost done. There we go. We win. Oh, ow. More than he drank. Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beat. Oh, you're just slow, sore losers. All of you. Alright. Time to swing like crazy. Don't bother with bombs. Just keep swinging the wheels. Also, maybe, uh, do that. <laughs> just don't get caught in your own traps. Uh, and since this is a group hit. Oh, I needed that health. Uh, this is a group effort, so you have to kill, like, so many before it'll switch you over. And get on the bar. <laughs> oh, hey, we're automatically tar turned over to Sly. Nice. Also, get all the coins. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is loaded with co with uh, bottles that'll give off a shit ton of coins. Granted, Bentley's the best for getting rid of all the bottles. Because, you know, bigger hitbox because of his wheelchair. And there we go. Alright, now it's time to actually do some shit. <laughs> there we go. Come here. Just... Uh, oh yeah, there was also this. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I was hoping that would work, but stupid awesome. dingoes with their damn whips. Uh, oh. I honestly thought I had nobody around me. This is an all-out brawl! Brawl! Also, gate guard. Because <laughs> it's funny. Into the thing. You just keep coming. You holding up, Murray? Finally. 
feeling strong. Behold my powers of destruction. Ah, uh, yes, because the this is much better. Brawl brawls should be left to the puncher of the group. Well struck, Murray. Come on. Where is that maniac? Oh, everybody's over here. Hello. Nice work, big guy. No, no, no. No with the whip. Looking good, Murray. Looking strong. Come on. Where's the big bad? Waiting for him. Uh, come on, are you the last one? Yes, you are. Where is he? Yes! The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. There you are. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Well, at least we have an even floor to fight on. I'm sorry, do you want to repeat that just, you know, with actual words? Yeah. Here, idiot. Alright, come on. Let's whack him good. I'd also like to point out by this point, the mask has possessed it has possessed one of each type of guard. Uh courtesy of this point in time. Cause he was the kangaroo in the caves. Bob's in position. Uh he was the Flashlight guard with the hungry croc. I also think it's one other time, but I can't remember. Barrel. I'm coming, Murray. Oh shit. <laughs> and now he's the he's the lesser dingo. Come yeah, on. Let's play fireside. Let's go bring around the fire. Whee! <laughs> Bob's down. Alright. Roll across the bomb. Yeah, yeah, we're fighting a mask. <laughs> we're facing an idiot with a mask on. Ooh, oh, ring around the fire. Did, did you just run across the fire? That's cheating. Cheating. Cheater. Come on, come on. Let's tango. Do 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 do. Oh. <laughs> What is this? I guess it's because he doesn't have a has his whip in this giant form, and he's just doing this weird, wavy arm attack. Uh, one more barrel should do it. Got a barrel here. Oh, okay. There we go. And there we go. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away again. We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. As you can tell, I did these missions a little out of sync considering the dialogue. But... Ultimate thing leads to... where it goes? <laughs> you can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the Mask of Dark Earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. 
Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunder pop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. I have one question. Who is taking the pictures of the entire team? I mean, does Bentley just have, like, a little picture bot running around? As amusing as that would be. Or, or is there just, like, some secret entity that's just running around with a camera? I don't know. Just, just thoughts. But anyway, that'll be it. We will do the operation next time. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, my beloved audience, I bid you adieu.